Any comments from Coach Baldwin and take questions? Uh, just, uh, again, it's exciting to be at this point. Uh, practice 20, you know, you start to, you know, figure out who can who can make it through certain drills, who can't. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we found that out a little bit today. I thought we had a, probably a better yesterday than we did today, but it's all about now how we respond going forward. And with school starting, the schedule changes a little bit, and uh, our guys are just going to have to, you know, just handle that, you know, what, in a professional manner. What drills are you, are you talking about? Uh, kind of maybe? <laughs> oh, just, you know, you go through certain moments in practice where, you know, you, if you if you rank 1 through 20, you know, it's you, you would love to them to keep ascending, mm -hmm. but I've never been in a camp where it does. So we got to understand when they don't, when we take a step back at certain levels, how do we respond the next period or the next day if that's the case. So I felt like uh, it was one of those, and you heard Coach talk about it at the end or whether you did or didn't, you know, just on point with, with the fact that I thought we came out better on Monday than we did today. So we just got to, again, what are we going to do about that tomorrow? Having looked at and now digested the film from, uh, from the second scrimmage, what are your takeaways? Uh, you know, I thought again it was uh, it was typical scrimmage where it, it was up and down a little bit. I, I thought we really offensively did not start out with the, the fire that we needed. I thought we actually start out better in a Monday practice, you know, yesterday than we did on a Saturday morning. So we got to figure out again how to get that you know that motor going and that. But what I will say from a positive standpoint. They were able to find that rhythm. They didn't just stay in that funk, you know, offensively. So, uh, but at the end of the day, too, in my opinion, we're still have to clean up some of the forget yards, forget all that stuff. We just have to clean up some of the unforced errors, you know, between now and and the start of the year and throughout the year. You know, you're always going to want to get cleaner and cleaner with how you're doing things. And there's still offensively, just in my, just in my opinion, too many unforced errors. Ross uh, ended things and uh, ended things pretty strongly. Uh, and obviously, Brandon had that uh, had that big bang there. At the end, what did you think of the performance of the quarterbacks? Oh, I thought, again, there were some, some good things that we did, and there were some mistakes we have to learn from. Uh, so it was, uh, it was right somewhere in the middle. You know, now, now, like I said, certain plays were, were extreme in one way, and you got to really learn from them. You got to understand how damaging that could be. But on the flip side, we responded with some big plays and some big moments and some big finishes to drives. So we're coming along at that position, and I'm excited to see them continue to compete. When you first looked at tape of of, uh, of Garbers, mm -hmm. when you got here and uh, uh, and and started to kind of also re-recruit or you know kind of keep him keep him in house, did you expect him to do as well as he has and, and kind of kept up with the other three? Well, in fairness to him, he just came across as such a you know he was definitely showed a lot of things on film and he came across as just such a great you know one of, one of my first home visits was just such a great mature person. So you felt like you know, he's someone that could handle. You know, it's situations where they where they're put in that spot early. You did you did feel like that, but you also know that it's still a freshman. So what, how he was going to perform was still could still take some time. But uh, I think he has in some areas exceeded what I thought he might do, especially being the fact that he wasn't here in the spring. So it's uh, you know, but but again, he'd be the first to tell you, and I'm telling you, still a long long way to go. A lot of things to do, a lot of things to work on. There was a play I want to say it was two weeks ago, and it just sticks out my mind where. Check down, check down, check down. Okay, no one's there. He rolls left and throws it away during a, during a two-minute drill and stops the clock. Plays like that, is that what you're talking about? You say, wow, yeah. he's, he's, he's a little ahead of where you think a true freshman would be? Yeah, he handles moments like that and situations like that, you know, and he can be told something once. You know, some guys it takes longer and longer. He can be told something once and he figures it out. So that, that is ahead of where some, you know, some very good players I've had at the quarterback position maybe haven't been to that level. So it's, it's been good to see. You know, again, he has plenty of stuff to work on and plenty of stuff to do. So I don't want to annoy him as, you know, he's got it all figured out and he knows that. But there are certain levels to where, yeah, that's, that's pleasant to see that as a true freshman, especially a true freshman that wasn't here in spring. What do you remember of your first uh, interactions with Brandon McElwain as you guys kind of uh, went, went, through the, went through the song and dance to get him here? Yeah, I just remember, and I told him this, one of the things that excited me the most was just the, the person he was and how he carried himself and how you could tell how he was, you know, just respected, you know, by his teammates, you know, uh, you know from, from where he, you could just see it. You know, I went through, honestly, I told him this too, I went through YouTube videos of interviews he did you know, and things like that, because I kind of wanted to see how he handled himself and how he talked and what his eye contact was. So that's what I love more than anything. We can all see the film, but it mirrored up with the person he is. And he was doing that at a young age. I mean, when he got to South Carolina in the spring, he was still 17, playing in the spring game and doing that stuff. So to do that, some of the carry himself the way he does at such a young age, that was some of the things I remember the most. And that just, 
that just held true when I got to meet him in person and meet his family in person and spend time with him during the recruiting process. So it was exciting. I mean, it's a huge, huge get for us in that way, not just because of the talent he is on the field, but the, the person he is off to. At what point in the process did you start YouTubing him? Oh, just, you know, I don't remember exactly <laughs> when, but I like to, you know, it's kind of like anything. I mean, you you know you're recruiting someone, you know you see on film, you know that, you know, what a, you know, a coach is going to say something, but you want to kind of find out deeper than that. You know, and it's the same thing with high school. You might go talk to people on campus, whether it be a counselor, whether it be whoever it might be, and mm -hmm. kind of find out more, you know, maybe not yes people, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yep. You find out, you know, some real information. But I think sometimes watching someone and how they handle themselves with certain questions in an interview, you can get a good feel for just, you know, their demeanor, their eye contact, their maturity, you know, and stuff, and, and all that stuff. You know, you could check all those boxes when I, when I did that. Uh, you didn't have the full complement of your offensive line on Saturday. How'd the guys that played grade out for you? Oh, again, it was it was the whole scrimmage was sporadic. Mm. You know, so they graded out good at times and not as good at others, and that's every position, not just offensive line. So it was sporadic, but you know what? They, you know, a lot of those guys are thrown into that fire a little earlier. You know, at certain positions, than then they might in terms of getting the reps they were getting, and they're still competing. They're competing like crazy. So I just respect the heck out of them. You know, and how hard they're grinding and how hard they're working and it's still new to a lot of them because they're younger freshmen just on campus so you know they graded out well in a lot of areas that really matter to me in that just their effort and their want to and, and work ethic that way mm -hmm. you had a younger guy who's been moving around in uh, Mike Safel and he's playing both the guard positions what have you seen from him so far oh he just competes his tail off he, he gets after it and he loves the game you know, some people, you know, they might say they do, but no, he plays like he loves the game. We can all say that, but it shows up on film. Who loves the game? It shows up when he's out here in practice. It shows up just in the way he carries himself. So he's, I mean, just a great addition. And, and again, another one of those guys, you don't just love what he does on the football field. You love the energy and the attitude he brings just when he's in the hallways and, every, you know, just everything, yeah. locker room. With, um, school starting tomorrow, today being the end of fall camp, are you guys going to start? game planning North Carolina relatively soon? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll dive into it a little bit, you know, in terms of that. But we still had a lot of things up through today to really work out, you know, within our what we do. You know, and that ultimately is what's most important. I don't care what team you're a part of. You know, it's you got to make sure that you're not, you know, moving ahead of, of things when you still have things to, to get straight with what you're doing. So, yeah, there is a little bit of that, you know, but that's more, you know, Coach Wilcox's, you know, call and, and answer to that question on exactly when and, and how much. Uh, but, but, uh, but, yeah, say you haven't peeked at them a little bit, of course we have. Got it, guys. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.